All right, next we are going to learn how to factor a trinomial when a is not equal to 1. Before we start, let's try to review how FOIL works. So if let's say we have x plus 4 times x plus 3, FOIL means we multiply first term by the first term. That will give you x squared. L is to multiply the last term and the last term here. And in the middle, you have to get the outer, get the product of the outer x times 3, which is a positive 3x, and then the inner, which is 4 times x. So the middle term is actually the sum of your outer and your inner. So your answer here will be x squared plus 7x plus 12. It's very important for you to see that the 7x is actually the sum of the product of the outer terms and the inner terms. We also need to remember the procedure on how to select factors. So when the last term is positive, then the factors will have the same sign as the middle term. When the last term is negative, then the factors will have different signs. So let's solve our first example. So in this case, my a here is not equal to 1. So the first thing that you have to check is if we have a GCF. Now in this particular example, we don't have a GCF. Then we can now proceed by factoring this trinomial. So I'll get the factors of 2, let's say 2 and 1. Now for the factors of 3, since the last term is positive, the sign of the factors of 3 should match the middle term. So since the middle term is positive, then the sign of the factors of 3 that we are going to consider will be both positive. So let's have 3, 1, and 1, and 3. So let's try 2, 1, and 3, 1 first. First, we are going to multiply the outer 2 times 1, which is 2, and then multiply the inner 1 times 3 is 3. Now, if you add 2 and 3, you are going to get 5. Now, I need to get the sum of the outer and the inner to be equal to the middle term. In this case, I need 7. Now, what if we are going to pair up 2, 1, and 1, 3. So again, multiply the outer. 2 times 3 is 6. And then the inner, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. If you add 6 and 1, we are going to get the middle term. So our answer will look like this. Quantity times quantity. Now I will have the x here and then the x here. So just bring down the 2, this will be your coefficients of x here. 3 is just a constant here. Now this and this will cross. This will go here, 1x, and this will go here. So your answer, the answer will be 2x plus 1 times x plus 3. Now let's solve example number 12. Again, check if we have a GCF. In this case, we don't have a GCF. So let's try to factor 5. So 5 and 1. Now for the factors of 14, since our last term is positive, the factors should be the same sign as the middle term. All the factors should be negatives. So let's try um, negative 14 and negative 1. You can also have negative 1 and negative 14. We can also have negative 2 and negative 7, and then we also have negative 7 and negative 2. Here we have all the possible factors of 14, and once we pair each of this with 5 and 1, we'll be able to get all the possible combinations. So remember, we want to have the sum of the outer and the inner to be equal to negative 17x. So let's try to pair up 5, 1 and negative 14 and negative 1. So 5 and 1, negative 14 and negative 1. So outer, 5 times negative 1 is 
negative 5 inner 1 times negative 14 is negative 14 when you add these two together we are going to get negative 19 I need negative 17 so this one will not work okay let's try 5 1 and negative 1 and negative 14 so 5 times negative 14 will give us negative 70 1 times negative 1 will give us negative 1 the sum is equal to negative 71 so again not the correct combination that we need now what if we use negative 2 and negative 7 so 5 times negative 7 the outer so 5 times negative 7 is negative 35 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 when you add this 2 you are going to get negative 37 again not the correct combination so what if we use negative 7 and negative 2 so 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 1 times negative 7 is negative 7 and the sum is negative 17 which is the correct combination that we need so we have 5 1 negative 7 and negative 2 so factors will look like this I will have X here and I will have X here so just bring down the 5 bring down minus 2 now this will go here 1 X and the negative 7 will go here it will become minus 7 so this will be our answer now let's try to check our answer so first 5x times 1x is 5x squared outer 5x times negative 2 is negative 10x inner negative 7 times 1x is negative 7x and then last negative 7 times negative 2 is positive 14 now these two are like terms it will be equal to negative 17x once added so we were able to get the given problem all right let's have our next example before we start let's check if we have any GCF 2 9 and 10 so we don't have a number that can divide divide all of these three numbers so there's no GCF let's try to factor 2 as 2 and 1 for 10 last term is positive so the factors will be the same sign as the middle term so we'll have all positives here we can have 1 10 then 1 2 and 5 and then 5 2 so let's try 2 1 and 1 10 so let's do the um, outer first 2 times 10 is 20 1 times 1 is 1 positive 1 the sum is equal to 21 so not the correct combination that we need not the um, combination that we need next 2 1 and 10 1 the outer 2 times 1 is 2 inner 1 times 10 is 10 the sum is 12 we need a 9 so cross it out next 2 1 and 2 5 2 times 5 is 10 1 times 2 is 2 again it's equal to 12 now let's try the last one 2 times 2 is 4 1 times 5 is 5 the sum is equal to 9 so this is the correct combination that we need so we'll have 2 1 here so the factors will look like this so the X here I'll put the X here so just bring down the 2 bring down the positive 2 now for these two numbers it should cross 1 will go here 5 will go here positive 5 so this will be the factors 2x plus 5 times x plus example number 14 again check for any GCF since 13 and 5 are prime numbers there's no way that we can find a number that can divide all of these three numbers next that's factor 6 now in this case aside from 1 and 6 we can also have 2 and 3 next negative 5 what are the factors of negative 5 now since our last term is negative the sign of the factors should be one positive and one negative so let's try one and five so one of this number should be a negative now remember the factor that has a higher absolute value will have a same sign as the middle term so five here will be negative now we can also have negative five and one so let's try one six and one negative five so 1 times 5 is negative 5 6 times 1 is 6 the result is positive 1 so this is not the correct combination let's try 1 6 and negative 5 and 1 1 times 1 is 1 
6 times negative 5 is negative 30. The sum is negative 29. Again, not the correct combination. So it means that the 1, 6, and these two combinations here did not work. Now let's try 2, 3, and 1, negative 5. So 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 3 times 1 is positive 3. The result is negative 7, not the combination that we need. Okay, let's try 2, 3, and negative 5 and 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And the sum is equal to negative 13. So we found the correct combination. It should be 2, 3, negative 5, and 1. So our factors will look like this. That's y, so I have to use y here and y here. Just bring down the 2. Bring down the constant 1. Now this 2 will cross. 3 will go here. And negative 5 will go here. It will become minus 5. So this will be our correct combination. For our last example, first we need to check if we have any GCF. Um, 12, 11, and 5. So there's no common factor. So we need to factor 12 and negative 5. So the factors of 12 are 1, 12. We can also have 3 and 4. And then we can also have 2 and 6. Now for negative 5, the last term is negative. So the factors will be 1 positive and 1 negative. We can have 5 and 1. Now, but one of these should be negative and one should be positive. Now, if our last term is negative, the sign of the factor that has a uh, a larger absolute volume will have the same sign as the middle term. So 5 has a larger absolute value than 1, so 5 will be the one that's positive, and 1 is the one that is negative. We can also have negative 1 and 5. Alright, so we'll have here, um, we have to try 1, 12 to each of this, 3, 4 to each of this, and 2, 6 to each of this. So let's try 1, 12, and 5, negative 1. So 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 12 times 5 is positive 60. The result is positive 59. So this one did not work. Let's try negative 1 and 5. 1 times 5 is 5. 12 times negative 1 is negative 12. The result is negative 7. Again, not the combination that we need. Next, let's try 3, 4, and 5, negative 1. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 4 times 5 is 20. The result is 17. Okay, let's try 3, 4, and negative 1, and 5. So 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. The result is 11. Now we got the um, correct combination. We don't need to try 2 and 6 anymore. So 3, 4, and negative 1 and 5 uh, gave us the correct combination. So our answer factors will look like this. So that's y. So bring down y here and then y here. So the 3 will go down. The plus 5 or positive 5 will just go down. Now this 2 will cross. 4 will go here negative 1 will go here. So this will be our correct factors. And again, don't forget to check your answer. Use the FOIL method, multiply this binomial with this binomial, and check if you'll be able to get the same expression.